As anglers, we're always inventing new ways to challenge ourselves. While simply attempting to catch bigger fish or more of them is often enough of a challenge, there's a coveted achievement available to anglers who fish the fall run in the Northeast, the inshore Grand Slam. Come on. Borrowing from baseball, the Grand Slam represents the successful capture of four fish species, the striped bass, the bluefish, the false albacore, and the Atlantic bonito, all in one single outing. Whether over the course of a tide, a day, or a 36-hour marathon, chasing a slam is a personal challenge and a source of camaraderie among anglers. And there might be no better place to do it from the shore than the island of Nantucket. For the second October in a row, I met up with my friend and Nantucket local Mike Wayne, who also happens to be the Atlantic Fisheries Policy Director at the American Sport Fishing Association. Mike picked us up from the ferry fresh from a morning of striper fishing, and we took off directly to the beach to look for an afternoon albie bite. I'm gonna start with Javad. The strategy for albie fishing is to blind cast epoxy or resin style jigs and use a fast retrieve to tempt strikes. But with gray seals keeping an eye on the action, we need to horse any hooked fish back to the beach as quickly as possible. Oh, hello. Not great. Not really the visitor we were looking for. Go bother Kevin. Oh yeah, some little. Tell me it's a bone, dude. Hurry up, hurry up, you got him. Ah. Oh. That's a little blue dog. Damn, look at him go for him, oh my God. I was gonna yank him straight on to the beach, but I'm not sure that would have stopped the seal one bit. Yeah, see that bird's on him right now. Oh. You on? Come on. Go, 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 get in, get in, get in. <laughs> Yes, dude. Bonito. Yeah, well, that's a monster bone, dude. Yeah, Bonito. dude. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The most fun you've ever had catching a Atlantic Bonito through the seal gauntlet, right? Pretty fish, though. Huh? Yeah. Nice job, Cab, dude. That's a good eating size, too. Cool fish from above. Look at those stripes. Hey, go put him on ice, dude. Don't look at me like that. They must have just came through or something because they were everywhere. Oh God, he's on you. Go, 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 run, run, run! Keep going! Keep going! I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, this is an Albi. I got the drag locked down. This is an Albi. What's happening behind me? Just keep going. Don't tell me. 
Oh. Yeah, I think that guy's got it. Break it off. Yeah. Dang it. Rather than keep competing with the seals, we left the leeward beaches to check out the ocean side, where, if we were able to find some fish, we'd probably have a far better chance of getting them to the sand. Go! <laughs> this is like running gone. There, 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 there. Go, go, go. Harder to cast into the wind. Come on. Look at how fat that thing is. They must be Albi blue mixes because if they're blues, they should be all over our stock. Yeah. There they are. Oh Come yeah. That, wave. that is so you cool. See them running down that way. Yeah. Is it the right? Nice Albie, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's a baddie, dude. That was awesome. Yeah. Whee. Ready? In one afternoon of fishing on a crisp bluebird fall day, we'd landed multiple albies and bluefish, and I'd managed a lone bonito, leaving me with only a striped bass to complete the slam. As the sun set, we chatted with local oral surgeon, Dr. Greg, and laid plans for an early wake up to take a shot at striped bass in the heavy current rips on the west side of the island. Of the four Grand Slam species, three can be caught by targeting albies. Bluefish are almost unavoidable, while the less cooperative bonito require a good deal of luck and persistence. Striped bass, on the other hand, often require a change in tactics and location. I mean, to guarantee this rip can hold fish, the question is, are there any right now? All right, I'm gonna go see if I can reach them. All right, Adam, watch Greg. He knows what he's doing. He's coming over to see how it's going, and he's, he's just crushing it. Hooks right up. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes.
He's saying the timing is like right now. Right now, get a buck yeah. up. You gotta take off right now? Yeah, I have to go. Uh, 20 minutes, you gotta work it. Thank you. So, so uh, just let it go down bottom, let it seal it, and then just start jugging it, jigging it up. Right on the line of current there? Yeah, right beyond it, as far as you can go. Okay. No, you're not leaving. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The patience can wait, Craig. Everybody waits for the dentist. Come on. <laughs> two of the uh, two, two ounces. ounces. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, buddy. You're a legend. All right, Kevin. Here's our chance. He's got us set up for success. Totally Tammy. Yeah, now we have another veteran just coming to help help us put an episode together. All right, I need a two ouncer. Is that what you're fishing? Yeah. Do you have another one? I do. Oh, it's a John Skinner. Yeah, like he said, they don't make them anymore. All right, I'm in the game now. bumps in a row, felt like I was finally feeling it. Nice, dude. A little schooly. Maybe that's why I was missing him. Nice. How about it? Go Nantucket Striper. Student has become the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> my first Nantucket striper was a memorable one, as it completed my first Grand Slam, an achievement that took a moment to register. Oh. It's the future. Oh, Felt good. <laughs> good thing we brought you, Kevin. I got the Grand Slam. Striper Blue Benito Albi, all from shore, within 24 hours. You could have, you could have entered the classic. And ate stubbies, and had ice cream from. Hughes Bar. All the hits. And cookies from Something Natural. Which so I just really, had one. You're just checking. I just ate one in the car. That's what changed my life. Oh yeah. Does it feel better? Better than the last one, yeah. He hit right at the end of the cast. First snap of the bucktail. Here he comes. Nice striper.
Nice fish chewing the bucktails now, finally. Current slacked off a little bit, a little more fishable. And hopefully they're just piling in this rip now. Plenty of bait around. So. All right. I'm on. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Yep, the fish are in. Oh, it's happening now. Is this that 20 minute window? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Greg said it's only a fish when it gets to the beach. Got a little blood on this guy. You guys might have noticed there was a little blood on that fish on the release. Release mortality is just part of this fishery. You do what you can using single hooks to try to eliminate the hook getting caught up in the gills, sensitive areas where the fish can easily bleed. And so, um, you know, I just wanted to recognize the fact that even if you're catch and release fishing, you wanna try and handle the fish as well as possible, there's still gonna be some mortality associated with that. It's currently being researched. They're studying what different factors contribute to release mortality, fighting time, the presence of blood is obviously a significant factor. Hook location, uh, the type of hook that's being used. So all that's being researched right now to help identify possible solutions for um, minimizing release mortality and its impacts on the overall population. You know, just be aware that if you're in catching a lot of fish in a school, the estimated release mortality is about one of every 11 fish that are caught and released end up dying. And so, you know, just keep that in mind as you're fishing. Mortality is part of it and do what you can to minimize it wherever you can. Boston cream, sugar, and glaze. They forgot the jelly. The jelly's my favorite. Is that a chocolate covered? No, that's a, that's a awesome. I'm gonna go glazed. Thank you so much. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Thank you. There you go. That's another thing, Nantucket Bake Shop Donuts. So those are for you guys. What? Yeah. Oh my God. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Having landed striped bass, I'd completed the inshore slam, and Mike was just one bonito away from his. Though Tammy's donut delivery had carried us through the morning, we decided it was time for a serious breakfast sandwich break before heading back out, where we'd see if the previous day's bite had fired up again. It was a long shot, but if Mike could connect with a Benito, he'd also complete his inshore grand slam. We pulled up to the beach to find a row of fishermen, and although there were seals in the water, they seemed much less aggressive about chasing down hooked fish. Look at him, he's, he's just casually bringing it in. Why is the seal ignoring it? Oh my God, look at that thing going nuts in the swash and they're in this, what is it? It's Big Aldi. He just fought it like a normal human. <laughs> he did nothing out of the ordinary. Look at the size of it, that's a beautiful Aldi. Oh look, there he goes now, look at that. Oh gosh, oh God, <laughs> oh my goodness. Is he gonna get it? Look at him go, oh my goodness. Wow. Are you still chasing it? He's still, why wouldn't he? Oh, did he get it? He got it. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's, oh, look at that blood. He just, gosh. Ooh. Oh, they're fighting. Ooh, a little fight. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, a little feisty. Did the oh little God, one just buddy. lose it to the bigger one? Or the vice versa, I think, actually. Ooh, the good. one that had it was the littler one with spots. Oh, yeah, then he was. He lost it. No, no, he still had it right there. 
One of the best strategies for avoiding an interaction with seals is to keep the rod low when fighting a fish. The seals have learned to recognize that a bent rod can mean an easy meal. Oh, I'm on. Oh, no. <laughs> he's coming at me. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> That is, that's a little tuna. It's <laughs> awesome. Look at the, look at the color on him, the pink. Dude, that is a beast, huh? Go, buddy, go, go, go. With just minutes to spare before we had to leave, Mike's improbable late Dave Benito completed his grand slam. Objective achieved, we raced to catch the ferry, vowing to make the Nantucket trip an annual tradition, and knowing we'd have plenty of time this winter to come up with next year's angling challenge. <laughs>